Hello, my name is Maisha Amani. I'm 14 years old and I attend Older Hill Community School and I want to be your next MIP for the Borough of Rochdale. I want to tackle the stigma around mental health and reducing the waiting list of local services. If a young person is self-harming, there may be only one chance to save them. Schools should do more to support young people and help reduce the stigma around it. Secondly, I believe young people aged 16 to 17 should have the right to vote because we are outnumbered. The population of young people aged 18 to 25 is far less than everyone above 25. As a cabinet member, I have built connections with politicians of the borough who I will work with to raise awareness of how important it is to empower the youth. Ultimately, I believe curriculum for life should be made compulsory for PSHE lessons for young people. The time schools spend on PSHE education has fallen by 32% in just four years. I want to work with Rochdale Borough Schools to support them in making a better use of our time. Because our future is valuable and cannot be wasted. Anyone from anywhere can do anything, so let's fight for what's right and do this together. If you vote for me, my Shermani, as your next MYP, change will be coming. You best be ready for it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Evie. I'm 15 and I'm from Wardle Academy. This year I'm running for Youth Parliament in Rochdale Borough and I'd represent you and the changes that you want to see. Mental health issues don't need to be this big secret. In fact, it will affect one in four of us at least some point in our lifetimes. Exams and other pressures are making young people feel anxious, overwhelmed and vulnerable. In recent years, the waiting lists at Healthy Young Minds and other services have increased, meaning that young people aren't necessarily getting the support that they need. It is up to us to maintain and improve these services. I'm certain you'll agree that not everyone enjoys the same things. So surely the things that we learn at school should recognise the strengths of everyone, no matter what we're good at. A curriculum for life will support all areas of education, not just the ability to recall facts, which, let's face it, can be found at a moment's notice from Google. Finally, over the years, Rochdale Borough has received some pretty bad press, and yet there are so many good things about our area that we could focus on and not forget about. It's about time we focus on the positives and get our voices heard. My name's Evie Gray, please vote for me. Hi, my name is Anita, I'm 13 years old and I go to Kingsway Park High School and today I'm here to tell you why you should vote me as your MIP. My manifesto points include jobs for us the youth, places for us to socialise and centres for years 9 to 11 to revise and get one-to-one -one tuition in preparation for their GCSEs. Us youth having a job benefits us all greatly. We gain valuable work experience, learn how to effectively manage money, as well as having a little extra cash. Having places to socialise decreases the amount of gang crime in Rochdale, as one of my main aims is to make Rochdale Borough a better place. Centres for years 9 to 11 to revise are vital, as we all know we have the new papers that are significantly harder, and the amount of year 11s getting an A to C has dropped. I'm here to uplift the youth of Rochdale, so if you need places to socialise and more jobs, vote for me, Anita Okunde. Hi, my name is Batek and I'm 15 and I go to St Cuthbert's RC High School and I want to be your next MYP. I want every young person in our borough to become successful and I believe that with the right support and guidance they can be. Therefore, I am campaigning for more support and guidance for all the youth in the Rochdale borough, whether it be in or outside school. I don't want anyone to feel left out or unsupported in our community. I think we can organise more things to do on the weekends and after school. Therefore, I am campaigning to provide the youth in our borough with more things to do. We need these things to become more accessible for anyone of any age, gender or background. Exams are becoming increasingly stressful and I don't believe the government is doing enough to work with us to find the right balance. This may not only focus on our borough, but everyone goes for education. Exams decide our future and we should have more choice over it. I will ensure our voices are heard and I will represent your ideas. I believe it's all about working together and making the place we live in the best place it possibly can be. My name is Bartek Shimkevich, please vote for me. My name is Louis Tweedale, I'm 15 years old and I currently attend Hollingworth Academy. My three points are mental health, activities and work experience and apprenticeships. Mental health issues are something that affects so many young people, yet not enough of them get the help they need. In fact, early break estimates that only three in 10 young people gets the help that they need at a suitable stage to make a difference in their life. This isn't right. Activities are another issue for me. I feel that young people need something to do. Work experience and apprenticeships are a great way 
for young people to gain insight into the world of work. Because once they've trained to be what they want to be, it's hard for them to change career paths. Work experience in particular gives them a chance to see what that line of work's like, whilst apprenticeships are a great way, when compared to A-levels, to give young people the skills that they need in real life. I'm Louis Tweedale, please vote for me. Hi, I'm Adam, I'm 14 and I go to Wardle Academy. Einstein once said, the world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. I think this same logic can be applied to the modern day issues that surround us. We need to not sit and do nothing, but we need to make changes, which is exactly what I aim to do. The first point I would like to focus on is preparing young people for later life. There are several vital skills that our current curriculum fails to teach us, such as banking, DIY and information about local services that the youth of today could definitely benefit from. My next point is bringing the voting age down to 16. Young people are misrepresented in our country's democracy and I have no doubt that by giving the vote to young people we can inspire the masses to take an interest in politics and their local community. Finally, I would like to focus on mental health. One in ten young people suffer from a mental health illness and with the huge demand that services currently face, many go without help. One way I think we can improve this is by using social media to spread support, by using technologies such as instant messaging or video chatting. I think that by revolutionising the way in which support is given, we can relieve the services of the huge demand that they currently face. I'm Adam Wilkinson, please vote for me.